On the left is the cast iron spoon rest that was used to melt the pewter in the video Having Fun with Pewter number one. And I have some fine sand here, just kind of poking around, making some indentations, and I'll melt the pewter right into those indentations. I've let this cool. Now I can take a look at it. A little bit of sand still left on there, but that will easily brush off. I do like the rough texture from the sand. It gives the piece more interest. Here's a close-up, which will give you a better idea of the texture on this casting. Here are three pieces that I've done using the fine sand. The one I just did, and then you can see how they're really different. Pouring the molten pewter into the fine sand, no two are ever going to be the same. I really like this rough texturing. It gives the pieces character. And this piece almost looks like a medallion. For something just a bit different, I put some water on this sand, so I have a wet sand. This is probably my favorite piece. I did this in wet sand. I'm just going to make some grooves in here with this fork, and let's see what we get. Since I'm just experimenting, I'm not being real careful about getting the dross off or the impurities. Although this piece is pretty clean. This is one that I did before. And I just think this is great that I can remelt something and use it without having a material loss. So, let's see what we get here from this wet sand. Now that that's cool, I can pick it up and take a look at it. This is interesting, but I don't like it as well as I do the one on the left. Again, that's still my favorite. I particularly like this pyramid or triangular shape from the video Having fun with pewter number one. And I'd like to duplicate that. To duplicate the triangle or the pyramid, I've used some 3 16 inch square material and I've braced it together. Now this is rather crude, but it will work for just experimenting. Melting the pewter in the ladle, and then as gently as I can, pouring it into the form. Oops, spilled a little bit up there on the right, but we'll check that out and see if that works. Got that little edge right over there. A little edge on both sides, actually. I can nip that off, and then I can file it down. File it down like I did on this one. Now here is something new that I'm trying out. I'm using some plaster of Paris. Mixing the powder plaster of Paris with water. In this case, I'm just using the ladle. Filling it up with plaster of Paris and let it harden. As you can see, I used a screwdriver. I just did a rough job of kind of carving this out. 
very crude, and then filled that cavity with the pewter. Obviously, you don't carve out a mold with a screwdriver, but I just want to see what would happen. I can see a lot of possibilities here. Just one example would be using a Dremel tool, carving out your creative designs within the plaster of Paris. Hopefully, these videos are opening up some possibilities, things that you may want to try and just having fun with experimentation. If you haven't done so already, check out the video, Having Fun with Pewter, number one.